as County looked to bounce back from last week's disappointing 3-2 defeat at Mansfield Town. It has been a difficult start to the new season. There's no getting away from that. Just one win in seven and a very muted transfer window as well have put additional pressure on today's home clash with Crawley Town. But it opened up there for County. And when you've got an overload like that, you should be scoring. Big chance, missed. Nil-nil. Yeah, Madden maybe just held on a second too long to feed Louis Barry, but as you say, John, should be scoring, but count to come again. Powell, he was tripped. The referee's played an advantage. The shot from distance and the goal! Oh, it doesn't get any better than that! Louis Barry, the top corner. He scored for three games in a row now. And he will never, ever score a better one than that. A dipping half volley from the corner of the area. And he finds the top corner. And County lead 1-0. Um, he just has that awareness, that, that top level. Um, like I say, intelligence and, and just knowing how to, how to finish things like that. That's brilliant from Madden. Absolutely brilliant to keep County on the ball. Powell's done well as well. Crowsdale sweeps it out to Barry on the left side and the Crawley defence is under pressure again from the youngster who fires for goal, but just wide this time. <laughs> Certainly the, the conditions will play a role. There's not a breath of wind today. Stiflingly hot at pitch side earlier. It's a proper beer garden weather today. Crowsdale volleyed forward by Rydell. Powell again, still on that left side, challenged by Gladwin. And he's got the better of him. It's Nick Powell, it's Louis Barry. It's another chance for County, but Barry's cut back, gathered safely by the goalkeeper, and there's a counter-attack on here, you know, for Crawley. Sarula, Maguire, they're finding it hard to pick a way through. Here's the lone striker, Orsi. Just bounced off him, and now Sarsevic can bring it away for County. Little deflection, but Madden will still chase it down. As will Powell, and Powell and Madden have won it back. It's Madden. Can he play it through the gap for Sarsevic? He's onside. Oh, what a finish! Anthony Sarsevic just dinks it over the advancing keeper. He held his run beautifully, timed it to perfection, and with 10 minutes left in this first half, County have doubled their lead. And it's the substitute on the score sheet. His first of the season, Anthony Sarsavik makes it 2-0. Four in the wall. Big moment in this first half. Will Wright takes it over the wall. It's punched away by Ben Hinchley. Backs it round the post. Well, it would have been a free header for Ransom. It's a... Crowsdale, Mr. Reliable, was there to flick it away. But Ransom found himself loads of space in the box, which is worrying. County have got it clear now, though. Here's Jay Williams for the visitors, finding Wright again. They've got lots of space on that right wing. Will Wright, three arriving in the box for the Reds. And on the volley, off the post and in. And it's Campbell, who's drawn Crawley back into this game at 2-1. The counter-attack down the right side, the delivery from Wright, textbook volley from Adam Campbell, the former Gateshead man. Mark Stott certainly looking happy in the uh, exec box to our right-hand side, big smile on his face. What a ball that is. As County come forward again with Louis oh. Barry, but he's blazed over. Well, that was an easier chance than the one he scored. That was a really good opportunity for Louis Barry. The pressure from Powell, and it's led to another mistake. He gives it away. Then through the legs of Forster, then Powell with a little flick behind, and now Crowsdale, all the party pieces are coming out as Madden sweeps it out to the right for Will Collar. It's opened up for Crowsdale perhaps, but Collar's carried on. Squares it for Rydell, County still with a chance here. Edge of the box, it's Barry, and it's blocked by the keeper. That would have been one of the team goals of the season. Beautiful move, and Powell involved again. Here he is on the ball. Crawley want to make a change, they, uh, they're they desperate to make a change as quickly as possible because County are rampant, here they go again with Powell off target, he needed to wrap his foot around it and he's gone for pace and power into the bottom corner and got his angles wrong. The legs, the nutmeg on Forster, the sweep out to the right from Madden, the skill from Powell on the halfway line, it was absolutely textbook. It's just a shame it didn't end up in the back of the net as Torres are judged to have brought down Danny Orsi. 
and she will hope to protect this lead. When it does come in, it's a chance and it's in. It's, it's fired Maguire, home by Maguire it? on his debut and he goes and taunts the Cheed Len. That won't go down well. Well, it's exactly what we were saying. You can dominate all you like, but give away a cheap free kick and concede the ground in the box. And Maguire's able to not only score, but to level it 2 2. County yet to win a corner today. And they've done their work. They're looking to play a short corner. Rydell's trying to cut that option out. They've still done it. And they've still managed to work it to the corner taker who clips it back in. Hinchley's got to punch this clear. In the end, it's Pond. Gets his head to it, but it breaks loose here for Orsi. And that's 3 2. It's Mansfield all over again. County failing to clear the corner. The ball dropping at the feet of Danny Orsi. And at the Cheed Lend, he smashes it home. The celebrations at the Cheed Lend are, are needless. He gives it back to Ben Hinchliffe. And I think it's uh, Cottrell who's come deep to pick up possession. Clint Hill calling for more pace and energy from the, the players. One last effort. Cottrell with the ball over the top for a Laffey. Oh, yes! A Laffey from the tightest of angles, latching on to a brilliant through ball from the young Welsh midfielder. That is class. A brilliant ball from Joel Cottrell. A Laffey onto it like a flash. The advancing keeper will be very disappointed. The angle was against Tanto Alafi, but he slots it through him and into the back corner of the net. It's 3-3. Game on. County throw. Rydell's got to get on with this. Madden back to Rydell. Rydell with the header, it's opened up for Will Collar, threads it through to Alafi again, Alafi on the edge of the box for Sarsavik, oh, he's not far away. Scott Lindsay's going ballistic at his defenders there. And after a difficult week for Stockport County, it's a fixture and a result that leaves more questions than answers. Referee allowing play to go on. He's obviously adding a, another minute here. And it's Barry down the left wing, onside. Louis Barry cuts it back to Paddy Madden. Is there a chance for Madden? It's blocked. Comes out to Torre. Needs to get into the box. Whips it in. Madden with a looping header over the bar, and that is County's last chance. And it is a 3-3 draw on the day.